Let's get let's get to it. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. My name is Juan Carlos, and welcome to OCR and Edited, where we highlight amazing coaches, athletes, and everyday people from the OCR and trail communities for fun, unscripted, and unedited conversations. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with another youth of OCR. She's an ex exceptionally talented OCR athlete. She is also uh, a part of this initiative called Youth of OCR, which I am so truly thankful and grateful that she said yes, and she's here with us. Cameron Tucker, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I am great. How's the weather today? <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. Kind of hot, especially playing soccer in it. So, yeah, um, you were telling me that uh, you play soccer. How long have you been yes, playing? Yes, I do. Um, I've been playing basically my whole life since I was like itty bitty. And I just love the sport. It's so fun. Such a great community. All my friends play too. So it's just so fun. So before we get into this, uh, into uh, soccer, because I used to play soccer, as you know, we were talking before we got started that I also played. And it's remarkable how so many OCR athletes played soccer and then they got into OCR and I'm one of them. Um, so before we get to that, let's talk about, first of all, thank you for being on OCR. I, I, I like I said before, I'm truly thankful and grateful that you said yes, and you're a part of this initiative. So thank you. And thank you for making time to speak with me today. I'm so happy to have you on. Now, whereabouts are you? Um, I am in the U.S. on the East Coast in North Carolina. Okay. Um, there's a lot of races around me, so it's a really great spot. Nice. There's a lot of OCR races around you? Yeah, there's like four just in North Carolina which is incredible wow. I, it's amazing it, there are so many that I can drive to it's really great now for a lot of the viewers and listeners uh myself we all want to know is tell us a little bit about yourself who is Cameron Tucker well I'm a 15 year old girl in high school <laughs> and I play soccer, I run cross country, and I do OCR. I've been doing OCR for like four years now, specifically Spartan throughout most of it, but recently I've been doing Savage, which is amazing. I love both of the companies. Um, I ran kids races for the first three years and have started running adult races this past year, but COVID kind of put a halt to that, but we're getting back to it. Wow. Now, so how did you get started athletically? Because you did mention that you play soccer and you've been playing soccer all your life. What is it about soccer that you enjoy? Um, well, my parents wanted me to do an independent sport and a team sport. So I did gymnastics and soccer from when I was like four mm -hmm. and up. Um, and soccer, I've always said that it's one of the like best overall athletic like development sports. There's so many different like scales that go into it just, and you have to be very um, mindful of everything going on around you. It's a really great sport for development. Gymnastics as well. It, that was a sport that really got my upper body into shape and kind of led me into climbing, which led me into OCR. And so, yeah, that, that would be my next question. Would you say that gym, doing gymnastics and playing soccer helped you with your OCR? Oh yeah, definitely. Soccer really laid the foundation for my running. Um, I'd always nice. been kind of on the faster end for soccer. So when I got into middle school, I could run cross country. Yeah. Um, gymnastics, like I said, it laid a foundation for my upper body strength. And then I found, about, found out about climbing um, like five years ago and started climbing. And then that just kind of rolled Spiral through. Spiraled from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Now, how did you discover OCR? Um, so my dad wanted to do something fun for his birthday, and we randomly found Spartan. I don't know how. And we tried it. We ran the Spartan race in 2017 in Charlotte. I did the kids race, and they weren't actually having competitive kids races then, so it was just an open wave. Um, my brother and I ran it, and my parents did the adult sprint. Um, my brother won the race. Um, I came in nice. third. I got passed right at the end. Very frustrating. Still remember that. But <laughs> won't let it happen again. <laughs> You're not going to let it happen again, eh? No. So, Very frustrating. It was a guy. We were 
pretty much neck and neck the entire race, and then he passed me in a crawl at the last oh. second. Well, now you know for the next time. You're going to get exactly. him when you see him at the line. Mm -hmm. um, with now, now that you've been doing, you've been doing OCR for what? Three years, three, four years. You did three years yeah, three, in, four in years. kids. And then you, you said that you did one year in the adult level. Yeah. So when I turned 14 in 2019, I did my first adult race. I actually did the West Virginia trifecta. So I started with the oh, beast, wow. which was kind of a, big step from the two to three mile kids races to the 14 mile of the beast, um, especially in Westfall. But I went into that and then did the rest of 2019 doing a mix of adult and kids races because yeah. the um, sparring kids world championship was still that year. So I couldn't run an yeah. age group because of some age qualification issues. Um, so, yeah. And how was that experience running at the adult level? It was incredible. Like the kids race, I give total props to their team. They're amazing. And the kids races are phenomenal, but the adult races, it's just like this whole new level. The yeah. obstacles are much more um, technical. Yeah. The weights are heavier. The distances are longer. It really allowed me to like show my full potential. Mm. So what would you say after you did your first adult, race what did you find out what was your takeaway from that race well in the beast my takeaway was i really needed to train for long distance because <laughs> that was the only really the second race that i'd ever done more than like six miles so oh wow that was the main takeaway and also i need to get stronger because the hercoist i was very light at that time and the hercoist was a big struggle and so were the carries so I just needed to get stronger and obviously faster and have more endurance. So, and you did that in 2019? Yes. So now we're in 2021. What have you done to prep, to train and prepare for this year? Yeah. So like I said, I've um, been working on endurance. I've been doing more long distance training. Um, in 2020, right before things shut down, I ran my first half marathon and I actually really surprised myself in that race. I ran, I think 136. It was a nice like 725 pace, which was very surprising to me. Wow. Um, I've also been doing more speed training. I was on a great program with a friend from Florida, uh, Bruce Jackson, and that helped me get to the place where I could run an elite in Jacksonville of 2020. Um, and since then I've been doing more, um, running training and also focusing on strength as well, because like I said, her coist was always kind of an iffy thing for me, but I've got it now. Yeah. It's, it's not that hard for me anymore. Oh, that's great. Um, that's great that, that you have a plan. Um, I guess, you know, I guess you, you learned, I guess you're, I guess what I'm trying to say here is that your your weaknesses were exposed. And so mm -hmm. that helped you to understand exactly what it is that you need to train and to get better at that. Um, better, better at, I'm sorry, it's a brand new tongue. I can't even articulate. <laughs> um, and so you're able to come up with a good plan, um, strategize properly, uh, and then train. So that way uh, you become the athlete that you want to be. So what are you excited about this year that you want to, that you can't wait for? Is there a, sp is there a specific race that you want to do? Well, I am particularly excited for um, OCRWC in, I think it's November. I'm extremely excited for that race. I ran NORAMS in 2019 and I did very well in that. I won the 3K and got third in the 15K in age group, of course, not elite. <laughs> um, I'm also excited to run elite a lot this year. I did elite in Jacksonville and also in Charlotte, and I did particularly well in Charlotte. I got fourth on Saturday and seventh on Sunday. So I was, <laughs> I was so close to third on Saturday. It's very frustrating, but I'll get it some other time. Excited so you're going to be at OCR World Championships in Vermont 2021 this year? Yes, I will be. 
then you gotta um you gotta keep an eye for me i'm gonna keep an eye on your eye for you and then cheer you because i'll be there my goal really? is to play. oh yeah oh yeah my i have my goals what is your goal for ocr w world championships well i am running each group in those races i mean i would love to podium in those races or potentially win them um I have very high expectations for myself and there's races Good. particularly because I come from a ninja background. So um, after I did climbing, I did ninja and OCR were kind of at the same yeah. time. So obstacles are kind of my thing, um, which really plays a part in those races because they're so obstacle based and obstacles are way more technical than a Spartan race or something like that. Very true. OCR World Championships is very grift, uh, very Grift. very grip driven <laughs> i'm telling you i yes, can't even good. speak today i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it and uh yeah very grip driven so and you're saying that you're training for that you're training your upper body so that's good and so mm -hmm. that that'll take care of that and then just you're running and then working on the hills and then yeah but i'm sure that you got that all covered and uh I can't <laughs> wait because my goal is to take the age group division uh, and win uh, the 15 and the three and the 15. That's my goal. That's it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not here for seconds or thirds. That's a great goal. <laughs> yeah. And you should believe and you should say that to yourself because you can do it. I would love to think that I can do that. I, I think I can. I'm excited to try. Then again, there are people that I've never raced against that I don't know that could be coming because it's the world championship instead of the um, North American. So, and you know what? Probably, to see me. They're probably saying the same thing about you. <laughs> they don't know who you Maybe. are. They don't know how, what you're capable of and how talented you are. So there you go. Yeah. Plus uh, I got a whole like six months before the race. So got to get to training. You got it. You got it. Now, what, um, not what, but what are your favorite OCR obstacles? Um, I like anything with rigs, <laughs> just like I said, because of my ninja background, I just like flowing through them. It's really great because the ninja obstacles are really difficult. And the Spartan ones, like the rings, if that was in a ninja competition, it would be like yeah. fly through there. So that is a big thing for me. I love Savage Races because their rigs are um, more difficult and more technical. So now, yes. So you like obstacles. You like all of them. Now, yes. which ones do you not like? Which ones are the ones that worry you? Because there's some obstacles out there that even me that make me worried and i know i gotta train happy to get better at that and but i just don't mm -hmm. like doing them yeah so the bucket carry i despise the bucket carry <laughs> it always seems to be longer than i think it will be i have in this i have this like thing in my mind that the bucket's going to be like less than a quarter mile but in the past two races it's been ridiculously long so <laughs> when i train the bucket i do like 0.2 miles for that and it's just keep getting longer <laughs> so i need to train for that it's very yeah. frustrating um in charlotte the bucket carry was horrendous it was like the trail was really just rocky and muddy and stuff so it's very hard to run on that yeah i know you know what let's go back to west um to the one race that you said you, you did did you say you did west virginia Yes, I did the West Virginia trifecta. So I did the beast super and a sprint. Was it a national series race as well? Um, yes, it was. But I had to run open because I was not allowed to run age group if I wanted to run in the kids world championship because that would be in two separate age groups. And that would be yeah, like yeah, complicated. Yeah, yeah. Now I hear very good things about that race in West Virginia. Did you like it? It's amazing. It's so hilly and I love hills. So that was wow. really fun for me. The West Virginia Hill, it was like a solid mile, just like, like straight up. <laughs> well, I guess Vermont. I mean, you, well, you know, Vermont, I guess you were there. Mm -hmm. weren't you last? Uh, yeah, I've been there 
yeah, I've been there a couple of times just on vacations and it was kind of a coincidence that Stratton, um, that it was here at WC was being held there. It's a, it's about a three K up there. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it was it's like a mile and a half. Yeah. Three K. I was actually the first to the top of my wave for the, um, for the, the giant mountain. It was really fun. I love mountains. I wish we had more in Charlotte in the area. We have one Crowder's Mountain that I uh, turn at sometimes. So now, when you get to um, to Vermont OCR World Championships this year, what races will you be doing? Um, I will be doing the team race as well as three k and the fifteen k. I will not be doing the shorter um, hundred meter sprint. You know what? Same here. I don't think I'm going to do them. I'm going to focus on what I'm, what my goal is and go at it. Cause that to me would be too much running and stressing yeah. my body too much when I need, you know, and just, I'm, I think I'm going to enjoy everybody who's going to do it and cheer for them. Yeah. Plus, I mean, I've heard that like, go ahead. I've heard that like a lot of um, like people from American Ninja Warrior are going to come and try that out. So they are like I said the ninja obstacles are generally more difficult and more technical so they're probably going to fly through these yeah I'm going to save my pennies and just cheer for everybody and do interviews yeah. and then it'll just be a really keep... fun race to watch exactly and it's going to be what a three day a Friday Saturday uh, I don't remember Friday Saturday I think it's three two days uh whatever but I, it's it's going to be great and uh you know what like I said before, I hope I see you there so that I can do a nice live interview with you. Yes, um, that would be awesome. That would be great. Now, what, um, who is or what is uh, your biggest inspiration? Um, I have to say Nicole Miracle. I've met her a couple of times. She's just the nicest person ever. I love talking to her. She's been so great and just like, I've met her at some competitions and she's helped me get through some obstacles and cheers me on and stuff. Also, um, Rebecca Hammond, because of her medical career, I want to go into the medical field as well. And it's really inspiring to see someone actually balancing OCR and their residency at the same time. Now, so (laughs) you mentioned Nicole and Rebecca. So they're, okay. So first of all, Nicole, we talked yesterday. She is oh, right. just I saw that. Group. and she's going to be on tomorrow. Uh, really? I, I, yeah, she's going to be on tomorrow on OCR and edit um, on my YouTube. Um, the episode is going to be up and running. Uh, she is just a hoot. It was a blast uh, talking with her. She is truly uh, a remarkable, talented um, female OCR athlete. Yeah. And uh, you know what? And she's such an inspiring uh, athlete and so many people just talk highly over so and rebecca who's also a part of the ocr dream team that she's got going on mm-hmm. um yeah she is truly another remarkable athlete yeah so here's a question for you if who would who are some of your idols or people or female athletes that inspire you um like in any sport or in OCR, in OCR, in OCR, in OCR specific, um, probably those two. And like, honest, like Lindsay Webster, I love the way she just lives. It inspires yeah. me whenever I see her like social media posts, the way that she just lives so healthily and like full of life. I love it. Yeah. Oh, she is another great person to speak with. And, you know, her, Nicole, they have um, such an upbeat and just beautiful personalities. Mm-hmm. And they're always smiling. I don't think I've ever yeah. seen them upset. Even when they <laughs> race and they're tired, they're just like happy. <laughs> now, what are your goals for this year? What do you guys said? What's in the horizon for you? Um, I would love to podium in an elite race. That would That's my goal for this year in some race oh. i don't care when it is but i would love to put him in a lead race i almost got there in charlotte i was about like 10 seconds behind the third wow. place person and i was neck and neck with her but i really just lost it a bit at the end um my stomach started hurting and it was could yeah. not keep pushing 
but I'll get it another time and I'm excited for that. I'm running wow. the beast in um, Fayetteville in I think June sometime. Yes. So that'll be awesome. Oh, wow. 10 seconds from making third place in, oh. in the elite level. That is remarkable. I, you know what? Like that's, that is truly amazing. I was so excited because I saw her and I was like, oh my gosh, I could make history right now. And my friend was cheering me on, running beside me. And then I just like, oh, you my would have, stomach gave me some issues. So if you would have came third, I mean, VJ Jones, uh, you know who he is, right? Yeah, so yeah. He's one of the youngest to have ever won um, mm-hmm. and make podium. He was a very young age uh, and he still holds that record. If you would have came third, you would have, I think you would have beat him. Yeah. Which would have been incredible, <laughs> but. Oh yeah. It'll, maybe it'll happen this year at some other race. You never know. You never know. If you keep training and dedicating and just staying focused, you'll do it. You will do it. Now, talk to me about the OCR Girls uh, League or community. Um, I understand that you're a part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the OCR Girls, I've been a member for like three years. They are incredible. I love the team, the community. It's just so amazing to have people that you know share your love for this sport, especially since OCR is not a school sport, so you don't have a team that you train with. It's really great to know that there are others out there your age that also love participating in this sport and train for it. You can share training tips. You can practice with them. And Emma Waring, she's kind of the, um, the organizer for the OCR girls. I love her so much. She is amazing, and she gives me so many opportunities. She's just incredible. Yeah, Emma Waring, yeah, she, no, she's, she's done a lot for the community. And, you know, and to have the OCR girls grow to what it, it is now, it's remarkable. Yeah. And I'm so it proud. With like, it started with like two, two, two girls. And now it's like, yeah. I don't even know the number we're at. It's like 30 or 40 at this yeah, point. Exactly. And I've been blessed to highlight a number of girls from the OCR girls uh, mm-hmm. league or community and just a remarkable and, and just amazing uh, group of uh, kids in the OCR um, in the sport of OCR and, and then how they're developing themselves into the sport. And that to me is just remarkable to see. And mm-hmm. so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this. And I wanted to, you know, shine a light and, fo- and, and, and put that focus on the youth of OCR because you guys are remarkable. And I say this, I, I've, I've said it so many times and I'll say it again. The kids are the future of the sport of OCR. So we need to empower them. We need to help them, assist them, okay. uh, lift them up, cheer for them, support them. Because if the sport's going to grow, it's going to be all, we, then we need to protect and we need to support our kids, uh, the kids exactly. in, 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 in the sport of OCR. So, and you are doing great things. Now, Thank you. Um, if, is there anything else that you got planned, any special projects you got planned that you want to mention, maybe give any shout outs? Um, I will be at... West Virginia again doing the trifecta weekend there and possibly the trifecta weekend in Ohio we'll see about that um I'd like to shout out my brother Ethan he um he has recently joined adult racing he turned 14 in December so and he's doing great he's he's not a big guy he's really small only a couple inches taller than I am um so some of the heavier obstacles are more difficult for him, but he is incredible. He's super fast. He's great. All the other obstacles and he's a force to be reckoned with. So watch out for him. So let me ask you this. How tall are you? I am 4'11". Four, and Very he short. is five. He's like, I don't know. He's at that growth spurt time. So you can't really tell where he's at. He's like 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, <laughs> and so... How would you rate him in uh, in 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 OCR? 
out of one, one to ten, ten being the one strongest. To ten. Oh gosh, oh. Ethan, don't kill me for this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I put him at a solid like seven point five to eight. He that is, is good. He's yeah, he's great at all the obstacles. Like I love watching him run. It's incredible. Whenever I watch him race, he's just he flies through the course. The obstacles are like no problem for him, other than the Hercoist, which. I mean, he weighs less than the bag, so it's just so hard for him to get up. <laughs> Maybe but that's why he's got he, difficulty. <laughs> yeah, so when he gets that, he's going to be, like, just absolutely tearing through it. So, my God, now I, I feel like, I, you know, why well, you should go get him and I can just interview him here. <laughs> he's not here right now, unfortunately. He's no, at, no, no, uh, I'm class. just kidding, because it's, it's about you today. <laughs> but I would like to do that with him. Yeah, uh, well, I, I would like to do him. that with him. You know why did he? Because he deserves to, and he we we deserve to acknowledge him, and uh, that's great. That's good work for him. Uh, I hope that yeah. he keeps on training and does well. Now, I want to play a game with you. Okay. I'm going to ask you four short questions quickly, and so I need you to answer them as, as fast as possible. So whatever answer okay. comes to your head, boom, just say it. I will try. Okay, so four short, simple questions. You ready? Okay, let's get started. What is your favorite exercise? Um, uh, deadlifts. Favorite uh, food? Favorite food or drink? Um, I love steak and uh, lemonade. <laughs> Three words to describe you. Um, dedicated uh loyal and optimistic i don't know three songs you listen to while training Ooh, while training um any taylor swift song um dang i don't really know <laughs> i never listen to music while i train um <laughs> just any taylor swift song eh, okay there you go <laughs> i like i don't have earbuds that i trust to stay in my ear when i run so it's hard for me to listen to that but i do listen to music while i work out oh do you okay yeah. listen i i have the same problem with earbuds you know i don't know what it is about my ears but they don't stick to my ear they, they tend to fall yeah. out so it's like i mm -hmm. sometimes i gotta put those heavy big ones there because i know they're yeah. gonna stay and i hate mm -hmm. it now listen cameron it's been such a pleasure Oh, you know what? Before we go, do you, is there any shout outs other than your brother? Anything else that would you like to mention? Um, just look out for all the kids coming up. Yeah. I think that the next generation, like you said, is going to be insane because those kids have grown up like me through Spartan Kids Race, which you cannot like forget about that. They are amazing and like a lot of times people will just think like, oh, Spartan, the adult race, but the kids race is extremely competitive and yeah. the team there is incredible and it's, it's going to be great. I'm glad you said that. And I've said it many times and I'm happy that Joe uh, DeSena um, created this platform and also brought in the kid, the, the Spartan kids uh, section uh, or incorporated it into the the Spartan product. So now you got mm -hmm. kids coming in at a very young age and developing through the sport. Exactly. And and it's remarkable to see how I'm, how fast they're developing, how fast they're growing in the sport. And it's truly just remarkable to see them in, in to see them race and, and mm -hmm. how easy they make like how <laughs> flawless they can be. Like when you watch them, it's just it, it just it it truly is remarkable and i can't mm -hmm. wait for this season to to begin here in canada and hopefully get down to the u.s and also watch the kids run and then cheer for them yeah. because like i said before they're they're the future of the sport and we should support them exactly. and cheer for them now if anybody wanted to uh, learn more about you get in contact with you and ask you about your races what you got coming up and your training um how can they get in contact with you how can they reach you 
probably DM through Instagram. Honestly, my Instagram is um, Cam Tucker OCR. Okay. Um, I will be happy to answer any questions about training or anything like that. So reach out. This is awesome. So now, Cam, I truly, it's been a pleasure talking to you. It's been fun. I had a blast. And uh, I wish you the very best in your training and and hopefully that I get to see you at the OCRWC um, yes. and, and cheer for you. Watch you run and cheer for you along with so many other people there. And yeah, and hopefully that you succeed and achieve your goal and win because I you really can want do it. To. So that that's the mentality. Not that, no, I don't know. No, you should believe in you should say, yes, I'm going for it. I believe I can do it. That's it. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> now you know i and once again so i wish you the very best and everybody that's listening and watching you know she is exceptionally talented look out for her for all you guys for all you ladies you know that's going to be registering and participating in the elite level watch out for cameron she's coming um now once again thank you so much enjoy the rest mm -hmm. of your evening and if you have for for anybody out there, if you can get in contact with her, drop us a line and we'll pass it on to her. Other than that, Cam, thank you so much for today. It's been a true pleasure. Thank you. Okay. I love being on. Oh, everybody, take care. <laughs>